The Nichols baseball team was out for revenge on Wednesday night as the UL Lafayette Raging Cajuns came to town for the second of a midweek home and home series. After dropping a tough 5-1 game to the Cajuns in Lafayette on Tuesday, the Colonels were set on riding the ship at Ray E. Didier Field on Wednesday night. Though the game was a pitcher's duel through five innings, the Colonels threatened to break the scoreless tie as two runners reached base with two outs in the home sixth. Colonel first baseman David Zorn then shot a line drive single into right field, but the speedy Charles Morton was thrown out at home to end the Colonel threat. The fifth-ranked Cajuns wasted no time in answering the Colonel threat as they came to bat in the top of the seventh. After raging Cajuns center fielder Seth Harrison led off the top of the seventh with a triple, designated hitter Tyler Gerard hit a triple of his own, plating Harrison to break the scoreless tie in the seventh. However, with the Colonels trailing one to nothing in the eighth, the raging Cajuns committed a pair of errors to give the Colonels an opportunity with runners on first and second with only one out. Junior outfielder Charles Morton stepped to the plate looking to knock the game at one and did just that as he shot a single into center field, plating Keith Cormier to tie the game at one late in the contest. We've been in some, some tight battles early on so far, and, and that's good. We're seeing some really good arms right now, and, and I like that, but I also want to see us uh, progress a little bit. Unfortunately, the Colonels didn't progress quickly enough as the Cajuns rallied for six in the 11th and shut out the Colonels the rest of the way to earn the sweep by a score of 7-1. to one. The Colonels are back in action on Friday night at 7 p.m. at Lamar.